welcome to the Zans Expo Center in steamy Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the Cigar Lockdown Unlocked Show. With your hosts, Sammy Phillips, Clay Roberts, Bill Paley, and Matt Booth. With an incredible lineup of some of the world's most exciting cigar manufacturers. Now grab your cigars and cocktails and strap in for this wild ride. Without further ado, here's Sammy and Clay. Oh, baby. It only continues. And it only gets better. Look Here at we this. are. I don't even know what day of the show this is. <laughs> we're tired. We're haggard. We've had a couple of cocktails, some great food. Everybody's a little bit heavier. But we're about to talk to two of my besties. <laughs> Bro, I am so humbled that you have, have joined us on the show today. We know how busy you are. The success of Placentia Cigars, your booth is probably my favorite on the trade show floor. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank a you, fireplace Thank in there. You. A fireplace, the music, the feeling. I saw that 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 beautiful Placentia sign you made out of pallets, which is nuts with the LED, super sexy. And, uh, you know, well, before we get into the cigars, I mean, dude, <laughs> it's you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. We're so happy to be here, to be together again yes. with our colleagues absolutely. in the industry, brother, with the retailers, listen to their stories, how they're how they bring people in, how they make new cigars, and enjoy how, how they make new people enjoy cigars. Being with the team, I, I'm here with my father, with my two brothers, with my sister, with their partners, my wife. Imagine that, brother, and with the team, with the team over here. Amazing. And I tell the stories about the team over there, so it's, it's how everything is together, and we're having a, so much great time right now. With, You're with your thank family. Thank you for the invitation. It's family, brother. Family, brother. It's family. It's family, our family and our extended family that yes. are you guys and are the the retailers and everybody. We're having such a great time over here. There's a, there's a great energy here today in it's the show, unbelievable. right? Beautiful. The show's unbelievable. Been beautiful. People are happy. People are, you know, they wanting are. to get out. People are smoking cigars. You know, it's just a, it's, it, we, some, it's, it's great to have a sense of norm. You know, it feels like it's great. People are laughing, having a good time, and it's just, it's, it's a, truly a blessing to be have, back. Have you, know? you changed Javi Caranza to Javi Placencia yet? Uh -huh. Have we made We're the transition? We're working on that legally. Okay. <laughs> legally. I didn't know if we it's made the legal here movement. already by heart. I can buy the ID in downtown LA. It should be 50 bucks. <laughs> I'm cheap, sure you cheap. can. I'm sure <laughs> you can. Cheap, cheap. We got I'm you, sure we got you, you covered, bro. We got you covered. So, guys, listen. Nestor, you've been making cigars. Your family's been making cigars for how long? Okay, let me tell you, we are in the cigar business since 1865. Unbelievable. Our family's been growing tobacco since 1865 without missing any crop. Despite we have to move twice for countries, yep. despite blue mold, you name it, all the challenges, but we never skip any crop. Amazing. It's unbelievable, but this is the passion that we have. Yes. You know, we keep right. learning about it. It's, it's so fun. That whatever happened we're gonna find a way to get it through to pass it through and, and and it's unbelievable and then we start making cigars in 1985 you know that we're vertical integrated we know yep, you know we have the tobacco let's make some cigars and now with the placencia name brother which is oh my god i see the placencia <laughs> sign over there my father happy proud amazing the people on the factories on the farms our team over here how can you not fall in love with this brother and I myself, I'm a witness. Listen to this. I'm a witness to seeing the tobacco on the fields. I were there. I spent a lot of time on the farm. That's what I love. Yeah. But then I go that tobacco, the same tobacco on the fermentation process. I know the temperature that every pilon got. I know how many times I flooded. I know those tobaccos, how many times they were aging. And then the magic happens when the, all those tobacco put in together by artists in Nicaragua, in Honduras, and I'm a witness of everything. And now I'm here in beautiful city of Las Vegas <laughs> with our team, with our customers. Oh my God. Everything man. is put it's together. Everything just comes together. Unbelievable. You're and people <laughs> talking about the cigars, how they enjoy the cigars. I don't have the words to describe it, brother. Bro, your passion, <laughs> since I have known you for over, for over 25, 26 years, yes, as long sir. as we have known each other, yep. my brother, your passion is it supersedes almost anybody else I talk to. The way that you talk about this process, and as one of my great teachers, you specifically, your father too, but you specifically, taking me under your wings when I was like, I want to take my watch 
smash it open, look at all the different components. Now, what do I do? How do I work? You sat me down with Yvonne. I rolled cigars for two days in a row. No, Sammy, sm smack the hand. No, 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 like this, turn your head, blah, blah, blah. And, and you taught me how to roll cigars. Yeah. And I learned more about tobacco. And I learned more about fermentation. I learned more about what was happening in the fields. When you taught me about horticulture, agriculture, what's going into the soil, it's incredible. It's, 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 it's beautiful, it's magical. Because, and, and the beauty of this, that we never stop learning. Ever. Every yeah. crop is a learning experience. We experiment with different kind of fertilizer, organic fertilizer, you know, different kind of crop rotation. And then you added uh, the carbon in the atmosphere getting to the, right. into the root. Yeah. You feel you fit in the microorganism in the soil. All that increase the nutrients are getting to the leaves, so nutrient dense, more flavor. Everything is a learning experience. I mean, needless to say, it, what, what you're trying to say is that it's contagious. It is it's, infectious, it's, it's contagious. It takes you to what, bro? It puts your mind, your body, your bro. spirit on another level to sit with somebody like Nestor. Brother, Andres. I mean, but it's not just him. Mr. Senior, oh, oh Jose that's... Luis, that I call the professor. Oh. You know, I remember going down to the factory, and Jose Luis was like, "Are you paying attention to this? Let me tell you about this. Let me tell you about this." And I'm like, "What? The? I, you know, I have to write notes and stuff like that." It was so much, and it's contagious. And what I try to do is, I, I try to infect the team, you know. And then we team infect work. the team, and then the team, team has work. the same spirit, and we're all on one page, you know, one 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 machine, you know. And that's how we've been. I believe we've been very successful, you know. We're coming and we're getting there, you know. And everything and that we do, guys, is a teamwork. Everything. Yeah. Every new blend, you know, we, we, we share it to the people. The people make the blend. The other people took it a little bit. Yeah. Because how can not going to use the talent for a lot of people that have been in this industry for many, many years? You know, so we have to use it. <laughs> and all the comments that I have over here about the cigars that people are enjoying, or cigars and this and that, I immediately tell, talk to my guys. And they feel so, so proud in the factory, in the farm. And it's like, guys, we're improving the life of people in a lot of places in the world. Unreal. Imagine the responsibility that we have, it's a especially thing. in these days, yeah. with craziness or in the world, or whatever, whatever you name it. There's problems, but we make people's life better, and now, and, and I truly believe that. And it's everything the we people do. on the farming, people in the factories, people in the people in the distribution centers, retailers, and consumers. Everything that we do is for the final consumer. Now, so your your factories for are for me. When I go into one of your factories. And for me specifically, when we talk about Didio, when we talk about El Pariso, and we talk about Placencia family, for me it's like going home. That's how I feel when I walk into any of your factories. I feel like I'm at home. And then I can be in the right spirit, the right mind to create. And the way that you treat the people that work alongside of you is like nothing I've ever seen before. When you walk into one of your factories, you could literally eat off the floor. It is so clean. Yeah. They're so inviting. Everybody's so happy. It's amazing. Thank you very much. It shows the respect that we have for the leaf, for the for the work that we're doing, and for the, and for the consumer because you need to have all these th all the things in order to have the best product that we can make. And and there's a lot of great cigars in the market, man. This is the best time for cigar for Absolutely. cigar people to enjoy. Your cigars are amazing. Thank you. A lot of cigars that are here, you know, Absolutely. very very good cigars. So you know, and that's what I love because the the quality of the cigars has improved so much. That more people, when they try whatever brand they try, they're gonna hook, they're gonna fall in love with that, and they're gonna have more people enjoying this beautiful life. Absolutely. Well, and, the, and the team in the states, we try to extend that feeling and that passion to the final consumer. You know, we want them to feel through our cigars what we experience at the factory. Well, listen, so uh, Javi, there's no you, doubt that you're doing that, bro. <laughs> you're you're doing an friend. incredible Thank job. You. We know you're doing. He's an doing an amazing job. job. And he's so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> you guys, like it was a natural, natural progression to have your own brand. Yeah. And when we all heard that, we're like, well, that's the no brainer. Yeah. And then, you know, amongst the, the, you know, the old ladies talking like, well, who are they going to hire to run around the country to do that? <laughs> and then this young buck shows up. They're like, and the passion has been a blessing. No, on, I was like, we were like, oh, this, this is a problem. Like, he's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> because he could have put everybody have an out of amazing business. brand. And then you have an amazing person <laughs> yes. who's, who doesn't only believe in the brand, believes in the family. Yeah. It's treated like family. And you, yeah. we have a lot of respect for you. Thank you very much. It means a lot from, from two guys that I admire and I look up to. And I've learned a lot from you guys. You know, I love. I love Thank your you, passion, Robert. you know, and I love your conversation, and I, and I learn from you guys as well, uh, along with a lot of great guys from the industry, you know, so yeah. I feel very Beautiful. blessed. I try to suck up the knowledge, and that's just been a very good component of telling me, listen, listen, you know, yes. pay attention, learn, learn, and do what you have to do, you know, and, and we do that. And we're learning for everybody, man. We're learning. For if you're absolutely. open, if you're open, you can learn from everybody. Everybody have a story to tell, and everybody have a lesson to teach. 
it's and, and that's what this show is a little bit. It's, it's, it's about stories yeah. and, and histories and generational fam tobacco yeah. families and people like myself are lucky enough to even get into this industry and you know just but by that, chance. That, it, it doesn't matter that you're new, that you're old. When you have the passion, you want you're that's eager it, to right. learn, you want to do, you want to experiment. And that's the beauty of it because a new guy with a different with a different perspective, they can they can have things and think something that we haven't because we're not exposed to that. Yeah. And that's the beauty of it. And 100%. I feel blessed that they listen to my opinion and we talk about it. Of and, course. you know, it's, it's an honor for me. It really is. I never take anything for granted. You know, no. I, I love the opportunity that I have and I try to maximize it as best as possible. So. Listen, what you guys are doing in market is incredible. It's incredible. And I met with Nestor before you actually launched the brand. And I was lucky enough. I swear to you, I happened to be down on a blending trip and I was with Colin and I was at the Sunset Family. And we were sitting in your, this is before you had sort of redone the boardroom. And we're sitting there and there was a little construction going on. And Nestor, and Nestor brought out some cigars. And they were unbanded. And he's like, try this. <laughs> and I start smoking the cigar and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> and I'm smoking the cigar and I was like, what are you going to retail this cigar for? And he told me, and I was like, I go, I think we're all fucked. <laughs> it, was, it was so good. I was so impressed with what you were producing, the love, the passion. And now you've brought it to market, and then of course, obviously, the packaging matches what is number one, which is which is the premium cigar. Yeah. But you guys are doing it, man. To light up your soul, the campaign, I feel it, and I tell people because maybe they don't understand, yeah. and they see the ads, and I'm like, you don't understand what this means to this family. Yeah, yeah. This is real. They are spiritual. Yes. About this business and about this process. Yes, sir. I've been lucky enough to be. At your at your family's yes, sir. private little uh, uh, tour, you know what I'm talking about, you know, and private it's a home. it's it's a magical magical place to be Thank to be you. out there to eat to dine, uh, to love one another and to, to smoke these products and to learn. It's and the environment where the people make the cigars, we know with the fountain gardens, it's a great environment. It's coming you know, home, brother. People people feel happy. The Paraiso factory is always a, feel happy. Feel happy. You see the people faces. Yeah. You know? So it's when a the people thing. are happy, they make they make great stuff. So we have to take care. It's a big responsibility for us. 250 kids in the child development centers, the scholarships. We build a church <laughs> because it's spiritual, La Caridad del Cobre, in honor to the Virgin yeah. of Cuba. Mm -hmm. You know, for, because Amazing. we have to honor our, our ancestors and everything. We go there every every Sunday with the family, man. I Thank God, it. we're so grateful for all the blessings that we have. Yeah, you're so blessed. We have to we're share that. Blessed. Well, listen, the consumers are blessed out there, and they're blessed with what is this beautiful item here. Thank you. This is an homage. Now, uh, the Placencia family wants to give to the people in Honduras, to the Honduran soil, to the Honduras microclimate. Wow. This is the first 100% Honduran puro that we released. Wow. 100% Honduran mm -hmm. puro. Wrapper from Olancho San Agustin, oh. song grown, fi, uh, binder from Hamastran, filler from Hamastran, Talanga, and Olancho. And we have a special seed, a Corojo seed that we develop ourselves in, uh, in uh, Hamastran. So, man, I'm enjoying this. And as again, it's a, it's a labor of love to the Honduras people that open their doors to the family when we, when we need it. And I, I was raised in Honduras, born in Nicaragua. I'm so proud of being in Nicaragua, yeah. don't get me wrong. But my heart is divided in these two countries. I yeah. love them. I love my wife is Honduras. So how come I cannot come with Honduran puro, man? And, and being from Honduras myself, and I'm my a little brother biased. From so Honduras I'm so very well. excited about this. So. Yeah. And when is, the, when is this release? Uh, we hope to get it released probably in September, you know. Uh, so let's not release us. anything in, in September. <laughs> no. Okay. Right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Well, we show it here at the show, you know, of and uh, uh, people give it tried and uh, people like it. So it's an honor. It's an honor. And we have, and, and, and to honor also our people in the factories, you know, that they say, hey, oh, Nicaragua, people are saying a lot of great stuff about the Nicaragua cigar that you're making. So proud of that, but I, yeah, we're going to do something 100% Honduras. Because the Cosecha 146 is a blend of Honduras Nicaragua. So this one, we have amazing tobaccos in Honduras as well. Let's do something 100% Honduras. Amazing. I love the meaning behind it. I love what you guys are doing. You're bringing the flavor. What was it like for you, right? Because it's hard to even imagine the scale of your business. And you see COVID. COVID is coming. You know, have all this planning, all this planning. We're, we're, we're firing on all cylinders, blah, 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 blah. And then the world stops. And then you got to reset. Yeah. And you have all of your factories and all of your employees, and you love all of these people. And yes. then you have Placencia cigars, right? Then the manufacturing that you're doing for for your exclusive brand. Yeah. And then you have your own brand. Yeah. What was that like for you? Oh my God, that was so much stressful time. Yeah. 
the most important thing that we that we start taking care of the healthy of our team. You yeah. know, we have to make sure that they're healthy, that they understand what's going on, that they that they get the training. We have clinics in all the factories and the farms. So train, 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 educated, yeah. hygiene, a mask. You know, that's the thing we we spread we spread it. We cover the between of them. You know, but training, training, training. This is the thing, guys. We care about you. We want you to be healthy. We want to be that. We yeah. have the doctors two times a day explaining the, the the situation and everything. And what I'm proud about is the speed of the reaction of my team. When Incredible, things like yeah. this happen, um, when you have an amazing team, is when you when you taste it. You know, yeah. it's a stress. Yeah. So then and then they start moving. Boom, 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 boom. So so and one then, of the things that really got to me was the thing that pained me during the COVID pandemic was uh, our, our retail partners. You know, course, yeah. like those are our partners, you know, and we were we looking for multiple ways to help our retail partners yes, during this hard right? time. Yes. You know, so we hurt for them because we knew that cities were being shut down, that, you know, that was their, you know, that was their business. That, that's how they fed their family, you know. So we were looking out for a lot of strategies to support our retail partners any way we could, of course. you know, and be charitable to them and understand their positioning because, you know what? They are extended family. They are not. They're our family. Like they're the I mean, backbone. These are, they're exactly. They're an extension of us. So, it was. It was so important for us. It was our, our priority. wasn't necessarily sales as much as it was. Yes. How can we help these people that are our retail partners that have supported us for years? So we worked out programs. We worked out ways to actually help them. And love. we've been. And hence, we've gotten such a huge reception of of love towards us because we've helped out, you know? That's right. Uh, we, we, we love our retail partners, we love our consumers, so that was our main focus during the pandemic. So. Well, yeah. I, th I think you used the word charitable, mm -hmm. and I think that's how a lot of us saw this with our brick and mortar partners, yeah. right? Yeah. And certainly you guys led led the charge on it, and then things like this show were born out of the same situation. We're like, yeah. How do we help our retail partners? That's what we're, that's what we're here for. Yeah. And uh, some of them are hurting, and. Listen, you supported this program. And, it's and coming fun. back together here again, man. Everybody together. To be together, it, man. To feel it's the great, energy in it's the room. It's a great feeling. And the stories that I heard, I'm building this humidor. I have this bar. I have these uh, uh, amazing places where I put the cigars. And I train the guys. And I train the new people. And I'm bringing new people. You know, I get so many new customers. Amazing. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> amazing time. You know, the cigar lockdown was born out of a similar strategy. We saw things going on. And how can we... How can we bring this to the next level? A lot of Zoom calls. And I want to congratulate teams. you guys for what you're doing, you. man. This Thank is amazing. Phenomenal. This bring, bring the cigar experience to people that couldn't make it over here. And and all this technology that you guys have, first time that I'm seeing, man, I'm a little <laughs> bit, I'm a little bit <laughs> scared, but, uh, but it works, brother. It works, and you make it so fun. It's not about the cigar. It's about the experience. It shows your love for the industry in, in, in a tangible thing. Congratulations. You, know, you guys are showing. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Guys, we are so humbled that you're on the show, and we're so humbled that, listen, I know how busy you are. I know how, how wacky supply chain is right now, and it was important for you to be in this pack. It's important for people to smoke Placencia cigars. Oh, sure. Kind it's of so know, important. And, you know, look, we're, we're, we're going to take this thing to the next level. We're going to continue to expose this beautiful artisan craft that we all love. And Nestor, you're the one, bro. You're the one who feeds my heart, my soul, brother, <laughs> with your passion. And you Thank said to you, me brother. over and over, Sammy, we've got to figure out a way to reach more people. Yes. And I think that yeah. in what all of us are doing, right, with everybody coming back unlocked, we're, we've got some great cigars in the sampler, yeah. and having you guys in, it, it really warms my heart. And it's I know an honor for us as well, guys. It, it really is. It really is. It with you guys. Well, Thank let's you. do something a little fun, which we do at the uh, end of the interviews of the show. Each pick out a card from here. And we have a little question. Don't worry, there's nothing bad. We took, <laughs> we took the bad ones out. There were Me, some bad okay. ones. Yeah, you each get one. My wife's gonna like it, right? <laughs> They're very <laughs> tranquilo. Clay kept them all PG. We're, we're, okay. we're, we're gonna do a next list oh, next God. time. The, put blue cards in. My favorite meal. Okay, that's easy Ooh, one. There we go. Baby. Your dream car. Nicaraguan grass-fed beef. Oh, oh, baby. With beans and rice. Gallo pinto. <laughs> Gallo pinto. That's it, brother. Simple. Simple. Simple and beautiful. But Nicaraguan grass-fed grass uh, Delicious. Beef. Yeah. Amazing. All right, Javi? Your dream car. Ooh, baby. Anything. 
man, you know, honestly, I feel blessed of any car that I have. <laughs> you know, <honestly. laughs> so any car that gets me to point A to point B, honestly, is my dream car, you know, because <laughs> I, I feel so grateful just to have a car. I mean, being from Honduras and, you know, growing up and, and you know, having little, you know, and then growing up. And to me, my dream car, honestly, my dream car was a minivan that I had in 19, from 1986 when I was in high school. That's Amazing. the car that I, I remember just looking at that car. For me, it was like an airplane. I love you know, so land. I really, beautiful, my dream beautiful. car, honestly, guys, is the one that I have right now because that's what I feel like I've, I've, I got I've you, bro. been blessed with. So. You guys are so humble. You're so pure. Continue to do what you do. I can't wait for the big show when we can really deep dive into more of what's happening in the States, more of what's happening in Central America, and we can take it to the next level and continue to supply these wonderful people who are going to watch this show with more knowledge and more passion. Thank you very much. You, we love you Thank guys. Thank you for everything you that you guys keep killing it. Yes. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you. And it's a thank pleasure you. to be in part of this. Thank we you love you guys. Thank you. Brother, thank, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Thank you for everything.